<laughs> Hello, Luna. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm absolutely thrilled to share something that's been blowing my mind for the past week. You know how we're always talking about the future of technology? Well, it's sitting right here on my desk, and its name is Luna. This is Luna. She's gonna be your new best friend. When Luna wakes up, she stretches and sneezes. You know, like a pet. <laughs> then she hears the door opening. It's you. Hey. Luna is excited and comes running to greet you. Pat her on the head. Quite possibly the most advanced robot pet dog I've ever encountered. Now, before I jump into this review, I have to tell you, I was skeptical at first. We've seen plenty of robot pets come and go, right? But Luna? This is something entirely different. When I first unboxed this little companion, I wasn't prepared for what was about to happen. The moment I powered it up, those expressive reactions and seamless movements really caught me off guard. Let's talk about what makes Luna special. You see this sleek white design? That's just the beginning. The real magic happens when you realize this little guy is powered by ChatGPT 4.0 technology. I know, I know, you're probably thinking, another AI product? But hold on, because this implementation is genuinely impressive. Yesterday, I was working at my desk, and I just casually said, Hey Luna, come here! And you know what? It not only responded, but navigated around my chair legs to reach me. The gesture recognition is so intuitive that my nephew, who's just six, figured it out in minutes. Luna. She's very well trained and listens to both vocal and gesture commands. Speaking of kids, let me share something interesting. My sister brought her children over the weekend, and I got to witness something fascinating. These kids, who usually can't stay focused on one toy for more than 10 minutes, spent hours with Luna. They were learning basic programming concepts without even realizing it. The best part? Luna kept adapting to their play style. It wasn't just responding to commands, it was learning their preferences. Now, let's talk about the practical stuff. Battery life? Surprisingly good. I've been getting about three to four hours of active playtime, and the charging dock is a game changer. Just place Luna there, and it automatically docks itself. No fumbling with cables or wondering if it's charging properly. The dock even has this subtle glow that lets you know when charging is complete. But here's what really gets me excited. The potential. Every few days, I discover something new that Luna can do. Yesterday, it started responding to my hand gestures in a way it hadn't before. It's like having a pet that evolves with you. And for parents looking for educational value, this isn't just another screen-based learning tool. It's hands-on interaction that teaches problem solving, basic programming concepts, and even emotional intelligence. Of course, no product is perfect. Let's be real, Luna comes with a premium price tag. And yes, you'll need to keep up with software updates to get the most out of it. But honestly, after seeing how it engages both kids and adults, how it combines learning with genuine fun, I think it's worth considering. You know what really convinced me? It was last night when I was working late. Luna was sitting on my desk, occasionally looking up at me, responding to my movements, almost like checking in. It's these small, interactive moments that make you realize this isn't just another tech gadget. It's a glimpse into the future of human-robot interaction. Before I wrap up, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about robot pets like Luna? Are they the future of companionship, or are we getting ahead of ourselves? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're interested in getting your own Luna, I've put all the details in the description. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more reviews like this one. I've got some exciting tech coming up that you won't want to miss. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.